Hi friends, there's cool rainbows on me. It's from there's a prism in the in the window right there. It's pretty rad. <gasps> I will take that right now. I am low, low frequency. Um, I do need to eat. That's definitely part of it. I did sleep enough, so that's not part of it. But I did come from the Eurogyne and I got a new pessary, which can't you so it supports better than the other one. It's called a Gellhorn. This thing. Look at this. What can I show you for size? <laughs> it goes in like that and this part sticks out. Mm-hmm. It's silicone. My body doesn't want this inside of me. It, my body's like, what the fuck is this bullshit? It doesn't like it. it doesn't like fake shit. I don't tie my hair. I don't wear makeup. You feel me? Like, like inside and outside, my body doesn't like it. Okay. So, until I get the BV slash yeast results back, and then... Until I get that back, I can't wear that. If it comes back negative, if both those tests come back negative, then I have to put this cream, I have to put this cream on anyway. I have to use estrogen cream. He said that there could be like micro abrasions on the pelvic floor, in the pelvic floor or the vagina or whatever from, from things. So the estrogen cream will help with that. And I would have to put that and like put that in every day or use it, let's just say use it. Um, for like two weeks and then try the pessary. But I can't have any kind of antibiotics and I don't know if I can have estrogen cream until after September 22nd because on the 19th to the 22nd is all my testing, my GI testing. Okay, so that's the update with that. Um, that thing's crazy, right? But it supports much better than the other one did. The other one was kind of that without the stick, the horn part, but it wasn't as sturdy as that thing is. And it was thinner, slightly different. Um, sirens. We talked about HRT, it's hormone, hormone replacement therapy. It's something I've been thinking about for a while, over a year, and we're not doing it, but I'm, wondering if I really should. So you go on hormone replacement therapy when you're in menopause. You can go on it for a lot of reasons, but we're gonna do relevant to me. When you're on menopause and the symptoms are like messing with your daily life, like the night, the, the sweating, um, the brain fog. I mean, my brain fog is really, 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 really bad, right? But I was like, yo, yeah, I have those, but like, I just don't care. Hot flashes. I'm like, they're annoying and stuff. The brain fog is really bad, but like, I don't know. I don't care. And I thought maybe the hormone replacement therapy could help with the, the tissues themselves and like with the hormones, like give it some strength back, which would help with the prolapses. But he said no. Um, but it would help with the pessary issue. So I said no, and it, you know, but I'm wondering if I'm being too hard on myself, if I should fucking try HRT and maybe it'll help my moods. And yes, I have borderline personality disorder. Yes. Um, and so my moods fluctuate, but maybe it's hormonal too. Like maybe some of this can be relieved. I don't know. There are problems with HRT too, you know what I mean, to look out for. So there's that. I'm trying to think of what was on my list of things to ask him about. I didn't ask him about laparoscopic surgery if I was a candidate because for right now we're not talking about surgery. So I'll wait until that comes up. Him and I are both on the same place that we don't, we're, we don't want surgery to happen unless it really, really has to because that's gonna F me up so much more than I already am. I'm just remembering that I never did the Wern technique clear passage intake, um, which is to get rid of the adhesions. There's this whole physical therapy technique done, created by a doctor and his wife. Um, you can Google it, W-U-R-N. And then uh, they do physical manipulable, this vis vis uh, visceral manipulation but like super intense. 
and I know I have adhesions and I know that's contributing to this stuff. So, but it, remember it's between $6,500 and $8,500 and it would be out of pocket because my insurance does not cover it. And I do not have that. <laughs> so, um, but I still feel like I probably should look into that. Okay. Why was it? See, the brain fog is really bad. So maybe I, I don't know. I'm not high. I'm out of weed. I'm totally out of weed and I won't be able to get any for like a week. That's going to be unfun. Um, someone stole my perfect aminos from my porch when it got delivered the other day and I was sitting right here. So I don't know who did it, how they did it and how I didn't see them. Um, or if they just were never delivered. I, d I really don't know. Okay. I'm going to stop this because I can't remember what I was, what else to talk about and then I'll come right back. Okay, so this is my plan moving forward. I'm gonna go through the testing from the 19th to the 22nd. On the 22nd is when they retest for SIBO, so I will know that day whether I have SIBO still or not. I'm guessing yes. If I do still have SIBO and the GI doctor refuses to give me a prescription for antibiotics again, I'm going to contact the women's first group and I'm going to see if they can get me in there sooner feel me because i'm not dealing with that bullshit. i'm just not i'm not going to i feel like that's a reasonable plan for now um that's it i guess i don't know i'm struggling it's a lot it's a lot i gotta be regimented with the hours that i'm eating which really screws up schedules and you know you know what i mean i'm if you're, if you know tarot at all, I'm in like the two of pentacles, but like times 10. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this shit out. I don't know. All right. So yay, brain fog. That's where I am right now. My, my chest literally hurts all day. Um, and I'm super sad and I'm going to go do yoga. Okay. Bye.